Welcome, we are here together to solve this question involving probability. And this question was asked uh, by one of you um, who had a problem with it. But I have to say before I start that this is not my own question. This is a question from Cambridge Examinations. So we would uh, have to say thank you and give credit to them um, for providing us with this question. We are just here together to solve it. Okay, so here it goes. What do they say? It says... If it rains today, the probability that it will rain tomorrow is 0.4, okay? If it does not rain today, the probability that it will rain tomorrow is 0.2. On Sunday it rained. Good. Complete the tree diagram from Monday and Tuesday. So as you can see, Monday and Tuesday, and the day before Monday would have been Sunday. So on Sunday it rained, it said, and therefore, if it rains... The chance that it will rain tomorrow is 0 0.4, so and therefore the chance of raining is 0 0.4, okay? And what is the chance for it not to rain? Well, hopefully you realize that together that should be 1, eh? 100%, so 0 0.6 over there, because you have a 100% chance that it will either rain or not rain. So these two numbers need to add up to 1, which stands for 100%. Yeah, as you can see over here on Tuesday, so if it rained the day before, again you have a 0 0.4 chance for it to rain again, and a 0 0.6 chance for it not to rain. Okay, but we still have two um, yeah, pieces of information we have to give. So, it didn't rain, what is the chance after a day of no rain that it will rain? And it says, well if it doesn't rain, so no rain, the chance that it will rain tomorrow is 0 0.2. So the chance that it will rain after a dry day is 0 0.2. And then hopefully you realize that the no rain is going to be 0 0.8. Very good, yeah, because again, together, it needs to add up to 1. Okay, so that was the first uh, question for two points. And then it continues, and again, I believe this is a two or perhaps even a three point question, I'm not sure anymore. But anyway, it says, find a probability that it rains on at least one of the two days shown in a tree diagram. So, that it rains on at least one of the two days. Okay, so what are my chances? I just want to want to show you. At least um, one of the two days, that means one day it should rain, or two days, yeah? Because we're only talking about a two-day tree diagram. On at least one of the two days means so you can have rain, sorry, yeah, rain followed by rain is good. Rain followed by no rain is good. Yeah, that is still at least one of the two days. No rain, but then it has to rain is also good. So actually the only one that isn't good is no rain followed by no rain. That is the only branch which doesn't basically meet the conditions of the question. Okay, now I have two options yeah, to solve this problem, a long one and a shorter one. The longer one would be to find the chance of this one, yeah, 0 0.4 times 0 0.4, to plus that by the chance of this one, 0 0.4 times 0 0.6, and to plus that by the chance of this one happening, 0 0.6 times 0 0.2. But that is the long way, yeah, because you have one to three chances which you have to add up to each other. It is better to realize, well, the chance of it is one minus the chance that it is going to rain on zero days, yeah? Because only this one, no rain and no rain, does not meet the conditions, yeah? So that is one minus, what is the chance that it will not rain two days, uh, two consecutive days, that is 0 0.6 times 0 0.8, so that is 1 minus 0 0.48, so the chance that in two days it will not rain is 0 0.48, so the chance that it will rain on at least one of the two days is 1 minus 0 0.48, which is going to be 0 0.5. Two, yeah, which is, if you like, 52%. Okay, so again, you can do it in two ways. You can say 1 minus 0 0.8 times 0 0.6, yeah, because this is the only branch that does not, is well, which is not a success, if you like. Or you could do 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 
plus 0 0.6 times 0 0.2 and then you would also get 0 0.52 as an answer okay so I hope this was useful again this was a question sent by one of you um, who had a problem with it you can do the same go to my site explainingmaths.com or find me on Facebook explaining maths or on Twitter and ask me your questions yeah and I will help you too okay so that is not a problem at all huh? and you will find loads of resources there as well which might help you too okay so I wish you a very pleasant day uh, like and share this yeah, with your friends so I can help them as well okay see you later